Good morning, Miss Ingrid. Happy math. Hello, happy math. You know what week it is? This week? Yeah, sweet 16. Ah, yeah, crazy. wow. Yeah, is anybody out there 16 years old? Or have you ever been 16 years old? Someday you will be 16 years old. But right now, what we really need to do is focus on the number of fingers that I have up right now. How many? Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Remember how much I recognize that? I love that. Anyway, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what we're doing? Every time we put up another finger, we are adding. Adding is when you put things together, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about addition. Right now, let's do a little adding ourselves. In fact, let's take one from the left. Boop. Take one from the right. Boop. We meet in the middle, and we dance all night. La, 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 waka, waka, la, 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 la. We made up a dance called the whoop de doo whoop de doo whoop de doo whoop de doo 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 Then we waved goodbye, bye-bye, and we walked away, bye-bye. And there are two, bom, 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 bom. two from the left, booty, take two from the right, booty. We meet in the middle and we dance all night. La, 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 waka, waka, la, 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 la. We made up a dance called the Snips Galore. Snippy, snip, snippy, snip, snippy, snip, snip, snip. Then we waved goodbye, bye-bye. And we walked away, bye-bye. And there are four, ba-ba-ba-ba. Three from the left, boo-doop. Take three from the right, boo-doop. We meet in the middle and we dance all night. La, 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 waka, waka, la, 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 la. We made up a dance called the Pick Up Sticks. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, up, up. Then we waved goodbye, bye-bye. And we walked away, bye-bye. And there are six, ba-ba-ba-ba. Four from the left, boo-doop. Take four from the right, boo-doop. We meet in the middle and we dance all night. La, 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 waka, waka, la, 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 la. We made up a dance called the bend and straight. Bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Then we waved goodbye, bye-bye. And we walked away, bye-bye. And there are eight, ba-ba-ba-ba. Five from the left, boo Take five from the right, boo We meet in the middle, we dance all night. La, 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 waka, waka, la, 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 la. We made up a dance called the clap. Clap, clap, and clap again. And there are ten Woo! Give yourself a hand. I love that song. We are talking about adding today. We absolutely are. And so I have, I have two kind of books here. This one is, well, first of all, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words. We think of it as a group of words strung together that, that, that show an idea, okay? That express an idea. So a sentence would be, I am happy, all right? Has all the different parts that we won't even get into right now. It's words strung together that convey an idea. There are also things called math sentences. Did you know that? Yes, there are. Let me show you a math sentence. Let me show you. What's the number that I'm showing right now? How many fingers? One. Check it out. One. And say we wanted to add another. Well, there's a little dude called a plus sign that we need. And it looks like this. Beep, beep, beep. See that? When you see that, it looks like a little cross 
except it's equal, to all the, both lines are equal, plus one, and when we see this we say plus, that means we're gonna add. And here's another one, okay? One plus one, that's how you read this math sentence. And then there's these guys, those lines make up a sign called equal. Equals one plus one equals two. And this is a math sentence. And I bet even if you aren't ready to read words yet, you could read this because it's kind of like saying what the symbol means. Check it out, check it out. Tell me this number, one, what's that guy? Plus one, remember his name? Equals two. And all that's doing is saying one plus one, you have two, equals two. That's what it is. So that's a math sentence, okay? And I have a little story, and we'll read some of it, about this guy right here. Plus. And it's called, if you were a plus sign. Miss Rebecca, have you ever wondered what you would be like if you were a queen? No. Have you ever wondered what you'd be like if you were a chicken? No. How about if you were a spy animal? Well, I do really like the spy animals, but I don't know if I'd want to be one because then I'd be a robot. But then I don't know if I'd want to be the regular. I'm really just happy being me. Okay, okay. So there's nothing you've ever, no, not about like happy, but like if you ever wondered what would life be like if I were a... If I could fly. If I could, if you, if you were a bird. If I were a bird. Or if or I a lived. A flyable person. A flyable person. Yeah, or yeah. if I could be an invisible person. An invisible person. Mm -hmm. You wondered, like, what it would be like. Well, have you ever wondered, what if you were a plus sign? Never, never. I never not have at either. All. I don't think anyone has. But This person, case, apparently. This person has. If you were a plus sign by Trisha Speed. Shastrin. Apparently she has wondered. She has wondered. Or maybe not. Maybe she's just putting it out there for anybody that might have. If you were a plus sign, here's what you would do. You would help add things together. Ida plus Ike excuse me, equals true love. They make a family of two. So, Ida plus Ike, one plus one equals two. Ida and Ike have a cub called Ina. They make a family of three. Two plus one equals three. Ida and Ike and Ina love pets. They have two seals. They make a family of five. Dude, I, I, I was thinking they were sort of a blended family or an adoptive family, so I actually thought this was Ina. So, so let, let me kind of point that out a little bit more. So this is Ida plus Ike plus Ina. One, two, three. So that's the family of three. Plus two pets. Three plus two equals five. And the plus is what did that. If you were a plus sign, you would be a symbol used to show addition you would be a part of an addition problem. Now math problems aren't like problems that we sometimes run away from in life or that we dread having. Problems, it's just another word, way to use the, that word, problem. Selma juggles five red balls plus two green balls. That's a total of seven balls. Five plus two equals seven. Trig jumps through four blue hoops plus four purple hoops. That's a total of eight. If you were a plus sign, you would be used like the word and. Doodle gives Pluck three daisies and six roses. Three and six equals nine. So you could also say and when you see the plus, but just say plus, like especially when you go to school, because that's what they want you to say. And it does make more sense. It's more correct. Pluck 
gives Doodle one Valentine and eight chocolates. One and eight equal nine. If you were a plus sign, you would help make a sum. The sum is the total of two or more numbers. Five bulldogs meet five tigers to play basketball and they make a sum of 10 players. Now it just gets a little more confusing, but we'll go on, that, that, it really does, I, I have. But that's what I wanted to, that's just wanted to show. If you were a plus sign, you would always help add things together. One plus one equals how many seals? One seal plus one seal equals two. And that's what happens if you were a plus sign. And that is just an introduction to this book called What's New at the Zoo. And this is a good one. Because, you know, there's a zoo. Let's go on an animal adventure. How many live at the zoo? We'll add up each creature, moms and dads, and their new babies, too. There are two hungry pandas. They eat a bamboo lunch. One cub joins the meal. Now how many crunch and munch? Two, one, two, plus one equals? How many do we have? One, two, three. That's right, there are three. There are four dusty elephants spraying water jets and two calves come in. How many are getting wet? So we have four, one, two, three, four, plus two more. Four plus two equals six. There are two tiny pea chicks and they're gathered around the pea hen. How many are in the pen? So we got one, two, three, four. Three plus one equals four. Four mama monkeys swinging in a tree. Each holds a baby. How many do you see? All right, so four mama monkeys. One, two, three, four, plus four babies. Five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four equals eight. Three mammoth boas plus two neonates, baby boas, loop around the branches. How many figure eights? Let's see. Okay, so there's three big boas, one, two, three, and two babies. Three, four, five, five. Three plus two equals five. Five fuzzy brown bears snuggle close and smile. Two cubs wiggle in. How many in the pile? All right, count the big ones. One, two, three, four, five, plus two. Six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Oh, five boomers bouncing up and down nonstop. Four joeys jumping join in. How many like to hop? Because we have three, five big ones. One, two, three, four, five. Plus four. One, two, three, four equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are six speedy zebras that run their fastest pace. Four foals trot behind. How many in the race? So you have six big ones plus four little ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten zebra. And then we go past ten. So I always like to stop. Like that book yeah it's pretty cool it really is I do kind of wish it just went up to 10 because I do think it gets just a little in the weeds you know, it, I mean yeah yeah but it depends on what your goal is you know but it's a pretty cool one it made me think of the show I was telling you about on animal planet about the zoo yeah the zoo oh I gotta remember to watch that animal planet is not PBS right animal planet is not PBS it's its own network it's its own network. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's very cool. So why don't we do some adding with muffins? How many muffins do we have here? Here we go. 
There were zero little muffins in a bakery shop. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on top. In came an ant up to the tray. He added one muffin and then ran away. All right, so now there's one muffin and one ant. Mm. There was one little muffin in a bakery shop. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on top. In came two ants up to the tray. They added one muffin and then said, hey. All right, so one muffin plus one muffin equals how many muffins? Two. But let's add the ants, too. One ant plus two ants equals three. There were three, no, there were three little ants in a bakery shop. You know the kind that bring muffins in and then they talk. In came Bucky the Beaver. Oh. And he ate the muffins. So we had two muffins and then one beaver. And how many muffins are left? Zero. Good job, my friends. Good job. Very good. Very good. You know, I was just thinking the other day about a friend I, I used to know. I used to know her, and, and she lived a pretty good life. I, I think she did. And she still lives on in, in many different ways. And, and, and she, well, maybe I'll put it into a song. Her name was Alice. She was a camel. But that was many years ago when you needed five humps to have a show. <laughs> now, but it, she works in a disco, and she only needs four humps. Ooh, Alice the camel has four humps on her back. Alice the camel had four humps. Mm -mm. Alice the camel had four humps. Oh, she did. Alice the camel had four humps. Go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel had three humps. Just three. Alice the camel had three humps. I see three. Alice the camel had three humps. Go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel wanted more humps. Mm. Alice the camel wanted more humps. What a twist. Alice the camel wanted more humps. Now she has four. What? Bum, bum. Alice the camel changed her mind again. Her prerogative. Alice the camel changed her mind again. Her prerogative. Mm -hmm. Alice the camel changed her mind again. She said, I think I'll just take half. Bum, bum, bum. So Alice the camel gave away two humps. Fractions. Alice the camel gave away two humps. Wow. Alice the camel gave away two humps. Go, Alice, go, bum, bum, bum. Alice the camel had two humps. Just two. Alice the camel had two humps. Alice the camel had two humps. Go, Alice, go, bum, bum, bum. A lot of people told Alice. A lot of people told Alice. If you're going to have hump removal surgery, get it done both at the same time. Like bum, your bum, knees. Bum. Yes, let's do it. Let's take both. Yes, let's do it. Let's take both. Yes, let's do it. Let's take both. So from two, she had zero and a little bit of physical therapy and it was very good <laughs> advice it was because alice is a horse but um bum 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 nice and alice is alice humps or no matter. humps it's true that's exactly what it is nothing has changed inside alice absolutely true. I love Alice. Alice has made my 16 weeks. Well, uh, it's funny <laughs> because I saw Dominic and 
Oh my gosh, you know Dominic's little sister. Oh, with the, Sammy. I saw Dominic and Sammy at Kiwanis the other day. And she, Miss, or their Grammy is going to have, or had both knees done at the same time. That's and what I my mom did. Myself, did she? Yep, they said have them both done. And I wondered about that. So I thought, why do we make Alice undergo surgery five times? To make this song last longer? Right, that's true. That's but it was true. good. I loved how you brought fractions into the mix. <gasps> Are we voting? Yeah, let's vote. It's so important to vote. It's so important to vote. You know what I think would be a good vote? If there's, what? if there, we, we have an ant. Do we have a mouse in the box? We have an ant. Oh, an ant and a mouse. Yeah, because my question is, would you rather see inside your house a mouse or an oh. ant? And you have to pick. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you don't have a mouse, that's fine. I can draw a mouse. because Can you really? Uh, oh, dude, come on. You can draw. I always wonder who drew Alice. <laughs> Does have a hat on? Oh, okay. All right, so there's a mouse or a camel. Would you rather have a mouse or a camel? Right mouse now? or an ant. An ant. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, a mouse. I couldn't. I don't know. I why would you have a camel in your house? I mean, I. Well, maybe some people do have camels in their house. They might. All right, Miss Rebecca, what would you rather have, a mouse or a camel? I mean, a mouse or an ant? I would rather have a mouse. Okay, you'd rather have a mouse. All right. Out there, everybody, would you rather have a mouse or an ant? Oh, Car says a teeny tiny ant. My dear Car, though, if you have one teeny tiny ant, you have an army. But Car votes for teeny tiny ant. Okay. Anybody else, friends, would you like a mouse in your house or an ant in your house? Would you rather have ants in your pants or a mouse in your pants? Oh my gosh, neither. I would just take my pants off. Do you have a preference? I think I... Well, we did have a mouse in our house the one time, and my cat loved that mouse so much. We have a vote for a mouse! Sit and watch TV together, but then she accidentally ate her. And it was sad. Wait, the cat and ate... The cat ate the mouse. Well, I don't think Not it was an accident. Day. Like, no, it really was, because she was so sad. Like, like, I had to take that kid's book home, I ate my friend, because she kept looking for the mouse. Because they were really good. Like, I even have a picture of them watching TV together. That was back when we had a TV. Now, my friends, remember, I realize out there, it may be not, you may not want a mouse or an ant in your house, but you have to vote because it's so important to vote. And one is probably just exponentially worse than the other. So clearly you would vote for the not horrible one. Or would you rather have... Now you can't throw another kidding. one in, in there. The mouse or the ant? You didn't choose, Ingrid. I know. I'm having a hard time. Because I... You have to choose. In my, in my house as it is now. In my apartment as it is now. Like, yeah. Like the configuration of just me and, 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 and Sandy Lou. Yeah. Okay, well, then I would have to go for the ant because okay. it break, it just broke her heart when she when she realized that she ate her friend. It's really sad. <sighs> okay, pretty soon voting's going to close down. Anybody out there? Really? It's so important to vote. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we have two votes for a mouse. And we have two votes for Ant. Am I right? What do you mean? Yeah, you. who else voted for the mouse? The Tyranny family. Oh, oh, 
okay, okay, okay. Oh, right, okay, gotcha. I was like, I don't remember. Did I, did I just make up a book? All right, so two plus two equals four. Four people love you, Carol. And mice and ants are equally welcome. That's a pretty neat point there. Not in an election. No, you have to decide. All right, my friend. <laughs> I love you more and more exponentially. Bye. See for science, 1215. Science.